was out shopping with two of my children in the middle of a lovely Wednesday afternoon when we were approached by a stranger. She paused in her perusal of the frozen foods aisle and watched as my daughter and son, ages 10 and 13, discussed which type of ice cream we were going to buy. Her head did the all-too-familiar tilt, while her eyebrows slightly furrowed and her lips pursed. She asked, no school today? I met her eyes and smiled reassuringly. We homeschool. A pause. There's always a pause after revealing that my family doesn't fit into the status quo of normal. I can practically see the inner conversation she is having in the 2.5 seconds of silence before she responds with the phrase, Oh, oh good for you. <laughs> I could never do that. I am tempted to respond with one of the well-thought-out retorts that I have developed over these past seven years, but the ice cream has been chosen and my kids are staring at me, listening to every word, and anxious to get home. So this time I just smile and say, <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> and my children and I head home. As is true with most aspects of motherhood, there are a lot of misconceptions about what it means to be a homeschooling mom. The most frustrating of them all is this perception that in order to homeschool your children, you possess special skills that are so vastly different from the norm that you are surely super mom. Equipped with unending patience, OCD level of organization, and a PhD in child development, homeschooling supermom knows all of the answers to all of the questions. Homeschooling supermom need only remind her little darlings one time to finish up that fraction worksheet before we head off to karate because homeschooling supermom has mastered not only the art of gentle persuasion, but also has the undying love of each of her offspring. Every day begins with an engaging and complex science project. And every night ends by hanging a freshly completed oil paint, ma oil paint masterpiece on the refrigerator door. If I were super homeschooling mom, my children would most likely be fluent in three languages, play violin and or cello for the local orchestra, and spend their free time knitting sweaters for refugees. From the wool, we would personally shear from our alpacas <laughs> on our organic and self-sustaining cooperative farm. <sighs> I've got a shocking secret to share with you. I don't own a cape or alpacas. You can quit wondering just how I do it all because the God's honest truth is that I don't. No one does it all. No one. The truth about being a homeschooling mom, or any mom for that matter, is that there is a limit on the amount of awesomeness you can accomplish at any given time. Even the most master of all jugglers can only keep so many balls in the air simultaneously. And when the proverbial balls are teenagers and carpools and lesson plans and homemade dinners, well, let's just say that this particular juggler has perfected the art of letting a few of those balls lie on the floor until the next act. This means that no matter how much I try, I will never have a clean house and home educated children. If my laundry is clean and my makeup is fresh at the same time, you can be guaranteed that something, okay, a lot of some things fell through back at home. And I'm okay with that. <laughs>